Okay, so um, let's go right to share screen. I'll do the screen too, because I'm going to pop in and out of um, incognito and regular. For everybody, make sure that you, if you're working in regular Chrome, you absolutely need to clear your cookies in your cache or you're going to have issues and problems with things working. So I'm actually going to pop over to my incognito window. Can everybody see my command screen now? Okay. So um, one of the biggest things that we're really super excited about is contacts. How many can you see? Um, oh, I'm logged in as a team. Let me switch to my personal. When you come over here to the right hand where it says show one through 10, you click on that, you can go to 25, you can go to 50, you can go to 100, and you can go all the way to 500. So um, when you hit that many contacts, <laughs> you'll be thrilled because you might want to do a bulk um, newsletter, right? So if I want to go to show 500 contacts, and now I'm grabbing all of my contacts that I have, so I have 239 in here, I'm, I can check this box and I can choose bulk action and um, I can add them to a smart plan. I can create a mailing label if I wanted to do uh, an outward mailing through another company, right? Like through bear printing um, for postcards or something. Um, you can bulk tag everybody. Um, I mean, you can do, you can archive them if you don't want them in your contact list anymore. So anything that you want to um, do with the contacts is right in here. I don't know if you guys, as a single agent, if you see this copy and share, because I think that's in order for us to share it out to another agent. Um, let's do a test. How about that? Let's uncheck that. Oh, I think I froze it up. Huh. I froze it. Refresh. At least I still have you guys and I haven't lost you. Okay, so here we go. Let's go find one of my test contacts. Oops, I felt that when I typed. Um, ah, why is it not coming up? Oh, so look at that, because I'm on a team. It says there's one in your team contact that matches this, but I know I have more. See? Okay, so let's go grab this test account number three. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Sorry. Let's check that box. And then if I want to share this, so copy and share. And um, now I can um, choose who I want to share it with. So if I want to send it out to a referral agent in another state, another city, I can share them. I can go through that and share. Um, and then this is uh, other things that are KW stuff. But um, more than anything, it, it's more that we can send it out to a referral agent. So if I chose the referral agent, now I can go find if I know who it is, I've already created the contact because you're going to want to go search for referrals under the referral section and then um, talk to the agent, make sure that's the right person you want to send it to, and then you can share the, the contact through here. Uh, so that makes sense. And then you can, it makes a copy, you have it, they also get it, and you can um, still contact them and talk to them all you want. So that was one of the big things. Um, the other thing that I know I've shown this many times to you guys. If, depending on how you have your dashboard layout, um, if it's not up here in the top section when you first come onto your screen, there's product updates. You can scroll down and find it on your on your list. If you don't see it at all, that means you need to um, customize your home and add it if you want to see it. But this goes over everything that they've done in command that's either a fix or if it's um, a new um, feature that has been rolled out. So. Um, teams, and I still don't see any teams on here. Fantastic. Um, okay, so the first thing, if you have a team, when you log in, it automatically logs you into your personal account. Um, and if you want to do anything as the rainmaker or as an agent on the team, um, you would switch to the team account. And um, 
once you go there, then you want to go into settings to be able to set up permissions on what everyone is allowed to do. Um, the rainmakers are the only ones who can actually do this. Um, and unless the rainmaker has given uh, enhanced permissions to um, someone on the team to where they can um, then allow or not enhanced unlimited. Um, so there's unlimited enhance and standard and that each of those permission levels um, show you what they're allowed to do within um, the command, the team command. There's a guide to, guided tour up here that you can walk through to see um, how it works and, and what each thing does. And then in command settings, in the opportunity settings, there is team permissions. Um, team permissions is basically whether or not um, an agent on the team other than the rainmaker can create personal transactions on their personal command side. If they are allowed to do that, they cannot, um, the rainmaker cannot see it on the team side and they can't see inside the personal transaction side. So if you're running a team that you want to be able everything that the agents do has to be on the team side, then you're going to want to say no and not allow them to create private opportunities in their command. So what happens is when that's checked and they're on their personal side and they go to a contact and they go to create an opportunity, it's going to error out and tell them, no, you can't create an opportunity. You have to move that contact to the team, um, the team account and then you can create the opportunity. Moving a contacts into the team account does not take away the ownership of it. It only allows the team, the Rainmaker, to see that contact and all activity that you're doing on it. It also allows you to then market it as a team. So there are smart plans that are just on um, the team side because most teams, when you're on a team, you've got team logo, team name, you are Bob on the, the Smith team, right? So everything that you do is supposed to be run under the team. You're not an individual solo agent. Um, so in that respect, you would wanna move the people. So this one I actually moved from my personal contacts. I changed the account to the team contact but the ownership of the contact still belongs to me as a personal. So if someone ever leaves the team, they can take those contacts back with them and they wouldn't stay with the team. So if, if you have an agreement with a team, which I know a lot of teams do, that um, anybody that you bring in after so many days that you're on the team belong to the team, then the ownership needs to be released to the team. So that's an agreement that you need to have um, with the Rainmaker. The Rainmaker needs to have with the agents that join the team or the admin or whoever it is on what happens to the contacts. Like who, who do you get to keep and who do you not get to keep? And then that needs to be dealt with. Um, the release ownership can only be done under each contact. Um, as, as far as I know, I don't think you can do it as a bulk. So that's the base part on that. And um, smart plans, there are team plans. And I'm just gonna skip that. Confirm. Um, there are team plans that if the contacts are inside of the team, everything is created and completed through the team and the team allows, the Rainmaker allows um, oh, I have to do the setup. The, the Rainmaker allows, like say you do a, a smart plan and um, you have a text that goes out. It, you can choose who the text actually comes from. Does it come from buyer agent number one? Does it come from Rainmaker? Same thing with emails. So everything can be chosen by who it goes, who it comes from to the clients. Um, so maybe the Rainmaker wants everything to come from them, but then when the responses come through, it's going to show up inside the Rainmaker's account. And um, I don't I don't think it'll show up under, like if you have Twilio automatically set up, I don't think it'll show up under the um, 
your buyer's agent that maybe is the only one or your ISA that's the calling person or trying to convert that lead for you. Um, and the library is still available in the teams. So every single one that's in here can go into the team. And um, the, I'm not sure if the Rainmaker can create smart plans and then move them over to the team. That's something that this just came out you guys on Sunday. So I'm still trying to learn here. Um, but here's like where you can choose. So if you create a task, it always goes to um, there you go, the contact assignee. So if the contact is assigned to someone, they're gonna, the task is gonna go to that person um, or the Rainmaker can choose to do them all. So that's kind of cool that you can control that aspect of it as far as uh, teams are concerned. And um, which I think right now the, I believe, let me see if I have, I have a note somewhere what was available and not available. I think it's um, a really great location to go get this information is um, so here, team functionality. You can't see my screen. Ah, hang on. There is a page that I went to that has everything, command for teams, this is just in the command your business. And I sent that out to everybody. Team functionality is all in here. Maybe I had it over here. Here is a really great place to that talks about the personal opportunities and how opportunities work. This is within team command functionality under um, answers.kw.com. Highly recommend that you go to answers.kw.com if you have any questions whatsoever about command. Uh, the other location to go to um, is this KW Connect. Um, if you go to KW Connect and you go to technology up at the top and then command your business, and this is for both single agents and team agents. If you want to know anything in particular in regards to command and need a little bit of a quick walkthrough, this is your place to go. Um, for single agents, it's at the top. You can click right here for team training if you need to go down to the teams. Um, it talks about your database contacts and smart plans, how it works, how to do it. You can click on the recommended training and then it breaks it down step by step. And if you click on one of these, say you want to learn how to do a smart plan, um, here's quick little three minute videos on how to edit, how to remove a contact from a smart plan. They're just the base uh, step by step of each section of how to use things. Some of them are videos and some of them um, are actually reading. Well, and they go and they basically take you to, oh, there was one, a read, five minute read. It takes you over to answers.kw.com. So um, the, the command your uh, business page is a guide that'll take you directly to what you need to do. And it's really nice because it goes step by step, shows you what you need to do. So if you need to go on two screens, you can do that um, or side by side on your um, laptops. And, um, and then if you scroll all the way down, it turns into Teams. And um, same thing, it has all of the um, recommended training, all of the classes within the, within the sections to be able to see how things run and how to do it. Um, and they have training available, but it, for Teams, it's um, through command. It's um, a little pricey. <laughs> so um, I do know that our regional tech trainer is working on having um, team training next week. I see I just was talking to her last night on the 10th and the 13th. Um, and uh, she's still working on figuring out the dates and times for that. So as soon as I know that, then um, I will also help push that out. So if any teams want to join that, they are more than welcome to. So does anybody have any questions? No? Is there any teams on this class? No. <laughs> 
That's okay. That's all right. You guys might become a team, right? And now you know the functionality of it. You grow your business so big and you need admin and you need a buyer's agent. Then make sure you follow the models. We have that too for you so that you guys know how to properly grow your team. But when you get to that, you know that that command is here and it has capabilities to help you and you don't need to go pay thousands of dollars for other companies to do this. Right? Okay. That's it. That's all I got. That was 20 minutes. Bam. If I would have had some teams on here, it probably would have went a lot longer. <laughs> okay. So um, next week, I... Austin, are you in there? What are, what am I covering? <laughs> uh, you are covering the KW app. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Next one, that's that's Wednesday, November 18th. Oh, okay. We're that far ahead, guys. Uh, agent sites is what I have. Oh, sweet. I think we covered that on some of the classes, but we'll go over that. Or you know what? Bring some questions. If you guys have something that maybe I've covered before and you weren't here for that, and you want to be shown how to do something, do we need to run a Facebook ad again? Do you guys need help with campaigns? Um, let me know ahead of time. Let Austin know. And um, then I can go research um, some of the different Facebook um, groups to see what's, what's really working right now um, in other states and other areas so that we can get you guys some buyers. And we really need sellers. You guys need listings. Let's get real. Listings is where, where it's at right? Guaranteed sale. So as long as you price it right, make sure you price it right. All right. Well, you guys have a great day. Neither, none, of you, none of you were in here. <laughs> Are you coming into the office to see us today? <laughs> no? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, I'll probably okay. be here tomorrow as well. We'll be here tomorrow too. All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.